Quick Fit British Touring Car Championship arrives at a rather misty Knock Hill in Scotland, but also arrives at the halfway point of a season that's suddenly become extra competitive. The action at Alton Park two weeks ago, punctuated as it was by a number of red flag stoppages, wasn't always pretty to watch, but it certainly closed up the championship battle and made today's action here at Knock Hill extra important. Alton Park always has a great crowd because it's a really good spectator circuit. This is a vital part of the year and you really can't drop a weekend now. Lights on and we're underway. Oh, and a spin top Oliphant. Robotter will take a first win in the British Touring Car Championship. It's a little bit surreal to be honest. Butcher's actually up the inside of Robotter. It's Butcher coming through to the lead. Rory Butcher leads. Rory Butcher takes the win. The final race about to get underway. Lots of cars off. Lights on. Ash Shutton's going to go for the sweep round the outside. Got his nose in front and gets tagged by Proctor. The script has been torn up again. Oh, Bordley's off. Oh, Bordley attacks. Butcher. Butcher. Red flag. So, Senna Proctor won his first race of the year. Ash Sutton said after Alton Park, where he scored only 10 points, that he couldn't understand how he was still in the championship lead. Tom Ingram scored only eight points and he's still in second, but look how the others are closing in. Daniel Rowbottom had an outstanding weekend at Alton that included his first win and he's up to third, 12 points off the championship lead. Jake Hill and Adam Morgan are right back in touch, so too are Gordon Shedden, Josh Cook and Rory Butcher. But Colin Turkington still can't break into that top eight after another disappointing weekend. BMW have a 12-point lead over Ford in the Manufacturers' Championship and Laser Tools Racing hang on to their advantage in the team standings, but Halfords Racing have closed to within six points thanks to the efforts of Dan Rowbottom at Alton Park. It's the same story in the Independent Drivers' Championship with Rowbottom closing to within three points of leader Ash Sutton and Halfords Racing just three points behind Ash Sutton's Laser Tools Racing in the independent teams. And look how Dan Rowbottom has pulled clear in the Jack Sears Trophy. This is for drivers who entered the season without a podium finish. Well, all that has changed for Rowbottom, who now has a race victory and a 71-point lead in the competition. So to Knock Hill, some 20 miles north of Edinburgh, the fifth weekend in the championship season and the halfway point. One of the most spectacular circuits on the calendar, an undulating 1.3 miles, similar in character to Alton Park two weeks ago, where the racing was muscular, to say the least. A good, clean battle at Knock Hill is what the championship needs. Lights go red, and it is blast off. It should be a good start by the BMW. It is, and a Proctor moves across to cover off any challenge of Chris Smiley, who also gets the drop there on Josh Cook. Tom Ingram is up alongside Rory Butcher as they dive down towards Dapper's Dip for the first time, and Ingram in the Hyundai's got the inside line, and he's got the place as well. But it is Turkington who leads as they head now down through McIntyre's. Off the road, there goes Dan Lloyd coming out of the chicane. That, I fear, is going to be a safety car. Gordon Shedden now having to go at his brother-in-law. So, Shedden and Butcher together. The Tom Ingram Hyundai just ahead. And yes, look, Shedden goes through. As he tries to launch it up the inside of Jake Hill, he's going to get there before they get to Clark. Great move, through on the inside line with maximum weight on board as well. Ash Sutton goes through, because instead of attack, he might have to defend. No, he doesn't, he does go for the inside, and he does make it stick. That was a good, bold move. And as it opened the floodgates, here comes Sutton. A little bit of a run between him and the Hyundai, but there is just an infinity width gap on the inside, and Ash Sutton is going to dive through on the inside line into the handpits. Round 13 of the Quick Fit British Touring Car Championship. It's going to be won by the Northern Irishman. Colin Turkington's 58th WSR's 100th win over the line. Cuts Colin Turkington. A great drive to control the race. Senna Proctor is going to be second. Another great drive by the Yorkshireman. Josh Cook hands on to third ahead of Ash Sutton. And we're not done yet. Look, because here is Moffat versus seven. It's going to be a crack to the line. Jake just gets his nose in front. And he prevailed. Round 14 is good to go. The lights go red. Colin Turkington on pole position, accelerates away now, gets a good, good start and a bad start by Chris Smiley, who staggers away from the line. Everyone has to dodge around him, including Sam Spelt, that goes onto the grass, demolishes the marker board there and gets back onto the road, and Mayhem in the background, one of the Team Hunt Coopers at the wall, 
Could have been Nicholas Hamilton, I fear. It is, and we get the proper full lunge up the inside. Uh, Cookie's gonna come back on the inside, but Sutton's got good traction off that corner. Right down to the hand in. in the middle is Ingram, on the outside is Butcher. Plato tries to arrive on the scene, Butcher dives up the inside, brilliant switch back. Is it gonna work for him as they come to the timing line? Moffat stands his ground to keep the place. And yes, Butcher has got ahead of Ingram, that was a really good move. As off the road goes Rick Harpin. Butcher was through on Muffet and then moved over on him to take a line into Duffers and there was contact. Oh, Rory, you didn't need to move over. Oh. Gosh, Cook is there, Turkey, did his mind, he's in the bracket and Sutton's going to go through for the lead. Ash Sutton is about to come through then for a third win of the season to increase the lead in the championship. Ash Sutton wins, Turkey to second, Hill third, Cook falls, Chen fifth, Ingram and to go red. Engine notes rise, lights out, blast off, good start by Jelly. He outdrags Plato, who moves across straight away to cover off any challenge from Senna Proctor as they head down towards Duffers Dick for the first time. Ingram is going to be fourth, Gordon Shed and fifth as they dive into the first corner. But it's Stephen Jelly who has hit the front, Colin Turkington is trying to make progress. And there, Ingram to the inside, goes third. And that is Josh Cook out of the race on the very first lap. As Plato straps this to half in, and if the inside goes Ingram for second place, he's through. Elbows out as contact, Jason gets forced wide. Tom Ingram goes past, and Senna Proctor's going to make the move as well. So two of them running shoulder side by side through the chicane. Shit does get through, he's sideways. Oh, Jason's lost four places just in one lap. As Ingram goes for the race lead, fantastic stuff. Dives up the inside of Stephen Jelly, and he's done it. Here comes Proctor for second place. As Honda and Smiley has done it, Hyundai goes. Ahead of the four, Jake Hill doesn't give it up without a fight on the outside line. He's off the road to Boggins, his way down the hill through the gravel over the grass, gets it back onto the circuit, and past him goes Aidan Moffat. Honors in round 15 goes to Tom Ingram. Tom Ingram wins, Senna Proctor second, third is Stephen Jelly, a look for four. Shedden versus Sutton, they're almost level as they come up towards the line, but Shedden took the place by 62 thousandths of a second as Oliver gets run out wide there by Adam Morgan. Ash Sutton still out front, and uh, that's his lead over Tom Ingram, uh, who closed the gap uh, significantly with that victory in the reverse grid race just a few minutes ago. But uh, Ash Sutton left Alton Park wondering how he was still in the championship lead. He doesn't need to wonder today. He was absolutely outstanding. Colin Turkington, Gordon Shedden, both very much in championship contention again. And Jake Hill, Josh Cook, Dan Rowbottom and Stephen Jelly complete our top eight. But we go racing again, though, in uh, two weeks' time at Thruxton. Make sure you join our coverage. Until then, it's goodbye from Knockhill.